The overall goal of this procedure is to create a random mutant library for a given target DNA sequence and to rapidly identify and characterize mutants using semi-quantitative functional selection. This is accomplished by first transforming a plasmid with a coli-1 origin of replication containing the target sequence into the mutator strain. After plating and incubating the cells overnight, they are harvested and the target plasmid is isolated to obtain the mutant library. The mutant library is then transformed into a readout strain to characterize the mutations. In the second portion of the protocol, a gradient growth plate is constructed and bacterial cultures of the readout strain are loaded into a separate petri dish containing soft agar. The final step of the procedure is to stamp transfer these bacterial cultures to the gradient. Ultimately, results can be obtained that show changes in the phenotype profile of a given target sequence through differences in growth on a drug gradient. This video presents a method for the directed evolution of proteins in E. coli. This process mimics the natural evolution in the generation of random mutant libraries, followed by a selection that constrains that diversity. Thus, it improves our ability to generate new biochemical activities for industrial or biomedical purposes. This procedure has two components, the generation of a random mutant library and a functional selection to obtain gain-of-function mutations. Demonstrating this procedure will be Jennifer Allen, a technician from my laboratory. Prior to the start of this protocol, thought electrocompetent JS200 cells expressing a low-fidelity variant of DNA polymerase 1 or low-fidelity pol 1 that have been previously prepared as described in the written protocol. These cells contain a temperature-sensitive allele of pol 1 such that low-fidelity pol 1 activity...